So, folks, I, I had to jump on the air today. Lisa's rather shaken. Um, just an absolutely vicious attack on her person over the weekend. Shocking new video comes out. Claims that she's a vampire and many other just horrendous claims made against her. But does this reporter that I dug into a lot deeper have another intent? Did he have another intent? Well, I'm going to ask you just to, just to hang in there while I go through the details of what happened. I'll show you just a highlight. There's only certain parts of the video I could show you right off the bat. Uh, vampire alert. This major newscaster has now been caught using her demonic power while on air and the photo that you see there. Name of the broadcaster, Florida Maquis. And you'll see I went through his video catalog a little bit further and his intentions are, are definitely suspect here. Detention alert of Donald J. Trump and another Trump alert and attack alert, new terrifying form of collapse, fire and brimstone, all the warning signs are there. An alert, can you spot what's wrong with this picture? I, I personally see nothing wrong with that picture, but does Florida... Maki, it's the question. Still just, I'm a little bit shell-shocked about what occurred. And I'll, I'll give you what this was all in reference to. Well, let's not forget that Maki, if you look in the dictionary, means an underground organization. That could be one of the first hints that we find. He pointed out in a recent episode we did, and I don't know if you're all aware, but Lisa and I um, developed a new platform, a new channel, to give everybody a laugh, to break away from this this harsh reality, obviously, that we all face. Uh, it's called We're Forked Up. More of a lighthearted note of Lisa and I just enjoying our time and trying to give you a laugh. And, of course, this was disrupted. And he points out the cross that I wear is a protective feature against the, the evil of Lisa Haven. It was, man, I'm telling you. I'll show you the scene. And why he declares suddenly that, that she's a vampire. You watch it, you tell me what you think. Appetizers only or like, because we could do some appetizers and a pasta. I got diver scallops. Oh my. <laughs> what the hell happened? Wait. That was garlic. You ate garlic where? Holy cow, you ate solid garlic. I can smell it. What were you thinking? I always do. Are you okay? I'm getting there. Whatever you ate. Oh, Ooh. you can smell it? Oh, gosh, yes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop it there. Obviously, he, he took that as an allergic reaction to garlic and claimed, of course, that because of that and many other warning signs, she was a vampire. You can imagine the... You can imagine how hard she took that. He pointed out throughout her video of what she's covered as the mark of the beast was all a distraction. She covered during one of another episode and just went through our entire catalog here because she enjoyed a, a Canadian version of a Bloody Mary that she took too much enjoyment in that. But you know, something that was meant to be lighthearted and laughable all of a sudden takes a whole different meaning. So I went a little deeper into Florida Maki station here to, to determine is he too maybe is there something else here maybe he had some other intent and so I went through his video catalog and sure enough triangles appearing everywhere even in a photo of his cover of Mercy Me an acoustic guitar triangles and even to look closer a symbol that none of us want to see now, if you haven't figured it out by now, Florida Marquis is actually a very good friend, somebody who we've recently met, and he was only poking levity. And he did have another intent. And it was to show his audience that correlation is not causation. But I want to take it a step further. He did an amazing job. And please, if you haven't subbed Florida Marquis, and now that you can all take a deep breath, that you know we're not upset at him, it's all in levity because that's how we all survive this crazy world we live in. But it was a real message because mainstream media has found it so easy and so convenient to manipulate your reality just like I did 
a warping of reality. And it's so imperative that we all know how to see through that, interpret through that, because if you don't interpret through it, suddenly a friend is an enemy. You see, he's on our side. All the pictures I showed you weren't what you thought they were. But it could be twisted that easily into something different. And we did this again. This is more of a lighthearted note to give you something to laugh at. We know what you have to deal with every day. We all do. Florida Maquis knows what you have to deal with every day. So we poke fun at each other via comments on each other's videos just to get through the overabundance of actual evil and manipulation. But you see, we have to remain steadfast and focused and not make friends enemies. And that happens all too often in the media. I'm going to do a video here on Restricted Republican just a couple minutes now about while Trump was allegedly being arrested. I don't even know it came from his, his own page. I understand that. Matt Tabai came out and did an entirely new release about how they tried to take truth and call truth bad. A Stanford University a think tank organization effort coordinating with Twitter, allegedly part of it even funded by what appears to be the government to take truth and make it evil, to make it bad, to make it false, to manipulate reality. And it's why I did this video today. Lisa's not upset. She laughed her butt off in actuality. And we had a, quite an exchange of, well, text back and forth. So I'm going to put all the links, and I hope you saw them throughout the video, to all these videos that went on. I want you to go over to Florida Maquis. Go ahead and subscribe him. He, he did an amazing job. And really, I hope he opened some people's eyes. I know he opened his audience eyes because so many floated over. And for that, Florida Maquis, we love you. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. And what goes around comes around, bud always will. <laughs> of course, just having some fun. I hope you'll also subscribe to We're Forked Up. If you need a laugh, go to we'reforkedup.com. Subscribe there. We'll send you our own notifications. I'll put a link to the YouTube channel also. And then I'll see many of you over at Restricted Republic as we go through a just a litany of information that, again, thank goodness for the whistleblower, huh? Or else you would never know how much your reality was actually being manipulated intentionally. I'm going to show you that here in just a few moments. Until next time, Godspeed and God bless Justice Knight. Hiding from, I'm sorry, I thought, I thought Lise was coming again. Hold on a second. The Cross of Protection, Florida, I know. I, it appears, nope, that was just a dog. I'm okay. Thank you all for your blessings. Love you. Until next time, signing out.